Matt, I can't believe you're moving to TTS Town, I'll miss you so much, Michigan won't be the same without you, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but it won't be the same without your annoying brother Isaac either, do you have to go? Yeah, I'm sorry Livy, but my parents are forcing me to move, Dad got a new job. Your dad's jobs are weird, please, Matt, promise me something, don't cheat on me with other girls when you are away. Livy, that's ridiculous, I would never do that to you. I know you wouldn't. Livia. Come on. I have to go. Call me, okay? I will. Bye, Livy. Okay. Bye. I'm glad we are moving. This place is terrible for skateboarding. You can't do any tricks around here. It's too narrow. Yeah, it is narrow, but it sucks that you're moving away Isaac, you're my best friend, and I'm really going to miss you, who'll skateboard with me now? I don't know, but you can always call me, whenever you want. Tommy, you are the best friend I've ever had. Thank you, the same goes for you, I hope you make some new friends at your new school, or maybe, you can get a girlfriend. Yeah, maybe, but it won't be the same without you. That's nice of you to say Isaac. I have to go now, I'm late for dinner. Okay, cool, bye Tommy. Matt, Isaac, come on, we are going to be late for our train. Your dad, Felicia, Grandma and Grandpa are already on the train, come on. Mom, why do we have to move? This is torture. Felicia, I told you, we had to move because of your dad's new job. Well I hope dad gets fired so we can move back to Michigan. Felicia, don't say that, your dad's job is very important. I moved from Chicago to Michigan, where I met your grandma. Now I am moving again from Michigan to TTS town. And this is the first time I have ever moved. Mom, we've been sitting in this train car for hours, how long does it take to get there? Just a few more minutes now. I miss Rennie. I miss Tommy. And I miss Livy. We're now in TTS Town. Enjoy your stay. Please exit through the doors carefully and mind the gap. We are finally here, in TTS Town, our new home. It doesn't look very nice. Rennie would think it is a dump. Oh cheer up Felicia, if it makes you feel any better, you can visit me and your grandpa in our house every day. But I won't make any friends here. Felicia, you're such a negative Nelly, this is the perfect place for skateboarding. I don't think so Isaac, you could get severely hurt. Come on mom, I'm 15 years old, I know how to handle myself in situations like that. No you don't, if you got hurt, you'd come crying to mom. Shut up Matt. Stop arguing you two, let's keep walking, it's night time now, we have to get to our houses. Is this our house? It's a very small looking cottage, how are we all supposed to fit in here? This is your grandma and grandpa's cottage. We live just across the street, in that big house over there. Let's go. I can't wait to see how big our yard is. Goodbye, grandma. Goodbye, grandpa. Bye, Felicia. Goodbye, boys. Come visit us tomorrow, okay? Good night, Mandy. Good night, George. I hope you have a good first night in your new house. We will come out to visit you tomorrow. I know I will. I'm B from all of the packing and the train ride. Come on, George. We should get inside before it rains. Good night, Sheena, and tell Nate to come and see me tomorrow if he has time. Here we are, our new house. It's so big, and look how big our yard is, perfect for skateboarding. Come on, let's go in, Dad is probably already inside. Okay Felicia, 
Boys, go up to your rooms and get some sleep. We had a very long day. But mom, now. Fine. Felicia, stay down here for a minute. I want to talk to you. Boys, go to bed. Okay. Good night, mom. Yeah, good night. Good night, boys. So mom, what do you want to talk about? Listen, I know it's hard for you. Moving to a new place is very difficult, especially if you have good friends who you used to hang out with every day. And I know you miss your best friend, Freddy, who you knew for many years, but you are going to have to get used to this new town, and the people in it. You will make plenty of new friends, I just know it. I will be there with you every step of the way. I am your mom, and that's what I'm here for. Go up to bed, and get a good night's sleep. You might feel a little better in the morning. Good night, Felicia. Rennie, hi, I wasn't expecting you to call tonight. Hi. I know. I'm sorry, but I wanted to talk to you. I'm glad you called. It's very lonely up here in my room. My brothers aren't much company, so what's up? I'm having a party at my house tomorrow night, but it won't be much fun without you. Is Freddy going? Yeah. But unfortunately, Kara Burke got to him first. I'm so sorry. No. I hate that girl. She isn't even pretty. You should ask Daniel out. Are you serious? No way. No. Definitely not. That isn't going to happen. I think he likes you, Ren. Really likes you. Stop it. I hate him. He is such a jerk. You saw what he did to me last year. Oh yeah, you guys got into a fight because of your short temper. Did you see the picture on Snapchat of my room yet? I put it up a few minutes before you called me. Yes. It's so totally amazing. It's so cool. I know, right? It's so big, but I'm so lonely here without you. Thanks. I feel the same about you. Oh, no. Fuck. Shit. What's wrong? I forgot that tomorrow is the due date for our creative writing essay. I haven't finished. Yet. You can use mine. It's in my locker. You know my combination lock, I did it before I left, but I forgot that I was moving, so I did it anyway, but I don't need it now, you can use it. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are the best friend in the whole world. No problem, anytime. You should get some sleep, I have school in the morning. Yeah, I'm quite tired, good night. Good night. And thanks. For everything, I love you. No problem. Love you too, boo. Good luck at your party. Talk tomorrow. <laughs>